Welcome back. We are still doing boat work, but not on our boat this week. No. We are yes. off to the Isle of Man. Yes. But before we can leave, the boat's got a bit of a leak. Yeah, too small leak. So we are got the big, well, we have the big task of sorting it out tonight mm. before we can leave at mm. six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, well, it's basically got a very small water leak from the sea strainer. Um, only a little, little drip, little drip, little drip, but a little drips can turn into big drips, can't they? So we may as well fix it now. So we're just making making a gasket to suit the lid. So you can see it, but I'm starting to make the gasket. I don't know, we won't bore you with this, but we always end up all dirty, don't we? And then... So we are going to spend the week obviously on this boat. We're mm. going to obviously get some more experience, some more training, yep. some more time under our belts yep. being yep. A, on a boat at sea. So. Should be should fun, be fun, shouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, should be good. So, who are we on board with? We're on board with Richard and and Jack. We are. Richard so, has done our boat training, so yeah. he's doing a bit more boat training with us as well this week. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that'll be good. So, should we give you a quick tour of what what we're on and what we're staying on this yeah. past this next week? You do that, and I'll. Um, you keep fixing boats. I'm going to keep fixing boats. So we are on a 38 foot boat. So we're on the aft deck at the moment. Inside, that's where we're working currently at the minute, where we've got the leak. So, nice size pilot house. Down to the galley. And two bunks. We have a toilet. A head. And a sink. And through this one is where we're staying. So literally we've been on the boat about half an hour. I've just come in, threw me stuff in, as you can tell. Uh, so yeah, I've got some tidying up to do. And then this boat also has a flybridge. Should we poke our nose up? Not the most elegant it's way to get up. There we go. So we are in De Gamway Marina. We've got a lovely view of Conway Castle over there. So, Flybridge. So it should be a really fun week as well uh, in the Isle of Man, the Manx GP is on. So we get to go and watch some bike racing as well, even better, boats and bikes. Um, I'm gonna make a spare as well because it's always because I have a spare one, isn't it? Build rat! Yeah. So, Surinder's engine room you can walk around. <laughs> <laughs> I've never owned an engine room before Surinder, so I just thought all engine rooms are the same. Apparently not. Oh, you're a bit tight for space down there. Yeah. So what was the problem? I was just leaking around this gasket. Obviously it's a, a removable gasket because this is the, the water filter, the sea strainer, I don't know what they call it. Um, basically it takes raw water in so you can, you don't want dirty water going through your heat exchangers, do you? So yeah, it's basically so you can remove this you can isolate it, but it was leaking from the top when the valve was open. So yeah, we've done that. So in a minute, we'll give this a good scrub. And if I open this valve... <laughs> <laughs> then we'll be swimming with the fishes! And we're on the way! So we've just left the ports now. I found out we had a, had a window open in the galley, so I've just been pop, popping up. Gemma's um, doing, I don't know what Gemma's doing, what are you doing? Plot on our position. Yeah. <laughs> so why do you have to do that? So if we get lost or the, the, the 
the Gubbins, electronic Gubbins go down, we know where we are, so I'm going to do this every hour. Very good. So yeah, we've actually got um, we're actually going with two boats. Um, it's Alex, who's on a Nimbus. Uh, it's quite a, quite a nice looking boat. We'll have a we'll have a better look when, when when we get when we get to the other side. But he's going to follow us for a bit. But he's a bit faster, so I can imagine he'll pass us at some point. But um, got to look at him. Eh? Don't need screen wash anyway at the moment. Well, I just walk up on the flybridge. Uh, it's a bit, it's a bit rough fly, but uh, you know me, I like a bit of adventure. Uh, so we still got Alex tailing us. Um, Gemma's downstairs. Feel, feeling a bit queasy to be honest with you, but I'm um, sure she'll be all right. Good view up here though. Longest ever crossing. <laughs> <laughs> So we just got to Douglas Harbour but we're in sort of the holding area because we've got to wait for Douglas Flap um, gate to open which doesn't open for about another three hours so we're gonna hang around here for a bit. So we are in Douglas and the flat gate has just opened. We've got to raise the bridge because we, in front of us we've got a sailboat coming in. A sailboat there, we've got crossbow the boat we're on and then the boat behind is with us as well. So once we're through the bridge we'll be into Douglas Marina. Look at the sunset and the sky, it's just awesome tonight. Much more good spirit. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? The power it must need to actually pull that up. This tall ship caught my eye in the marina. This is tall ship Phoenix. She's a two-masted brig and she was built in Denmark in 1929. Such a beautiful boat.
absolutely great, hasn't it? Yeah, it's cool. It's quite strange to be so up close and personal with the bikes. Look where we're actually sat. Yeah. Yeah, we're a bit too close for comfort, I think. So that's the road. That's where they're coming from. Well, I don't think there's any other motorsporting event where you can sit this close, is there? No. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, so I don't sit down because if anything has a crash, you'll be able to stand up quick enough. I'm not going to crash here. <laughs> You can feel the bike. So they're going to be launching the lifeboat in a second, just doing like a practice, practice runner thing. But it's going to be interesting to watch, isn't it? We are getting ready to leave Douglas uh, to go back to Conway. So we've just fired up the engines, doing a few last minute checks and then we'll be setting off. <laughs> so it should be calmer, shouldn't it, going back? Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully it's a bit smoother this time. And I'm going to make it my goal today, not to lose my breakfast. Oh yeah, why did you lose it last time? <laughs> I fed well, the fish. Did you find it? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be it's a lot, a lot calmer today, so it should be a really, really nice passage. miles back to Conway so good little trip should be fun so we're now obviously saying goodbye to the land for now um, so we're doing our little checks going around check all the hatches the clothes all that sort of stuff I've got lots of walls from around the exhaust so Open tips be going okay, don't it? It's not quite as bumpy, is it? No, it's great. Dead, dead, dead calm today. Captain Richard. He knows what he's doing now, Richard. Too much 
dry land um, but a really really nice nice journey really a nice voyage um, got a bit bumpy towards the end we had some more engine issues so like we found three hours in we started to get engine issues we thought it was air in the system but I, I gave it a bleed on the way before but no air, no air come out of the, of the main filters anyway on the, on the engine where it, it would have given us issues if it was if it was there but of the view. So I'm always up on the flybridge now so it's gonna be fantastic when when surrender has got a flybridge on, we've got the controls up top, it's gonna to be beautiful isn't it?